guys, this is Kelly Kirchberg of Divine Style, your personal fashion stylist. Today we're talking about how to dress like a boss babe on a budget. So whether you might be changing your career or you're just starting out in the workplace or you just feel like I'm in a different area in my life or different place and I want a whole new work wardrobe. But maybe you have a budget or you don't have an endless stream of income to support this. So these are tips that are gonna help you to dress and excel in your career without having to spend a lot. The first thing I always recommend for clients is to buy versatile pieces. So think about pants, skirts, blazers, things that you can wear with over and over again to create numerous outfits that really give you that versatility. So that might be a great pair of black dress pants or trousers. You might want to get a few amazing pencil skirts that really fit you well, but will be a great backdrop for numerous outfits. The second thing is to look at, look at buying staple colors. So that's usually your neutrals. So I always recommend getting pieces, depending upon where you live. Um, black pants always carry you well. If you want gray trousers or um, off-white, navy, camel color, those are universal colors that you can wear in monochromatic outfits, so wearing that all one color head to toe. Or you can pair these neutral colors together and then accessorize that with some jewelry and high heels to create a great look. And they're also great backdrops for your more colorful pieces. So blouses, tops, those type of things really intermix in well with these staple neutral colors. The next thing that I always recommend is to think about how can you wear pieces in a variety of different ways. So I'm gonna give you an example of buying one great dress, maybe it's a black dress for the office, that you can wear in three different styles. The first might be to pair this dress with a cropped leather biker jacket. You can pair that with a pair of elegant high heels and it really gives you that classic yet modern type of look for the office. Look number two, wearing the same dress is this time you're gonna pair this dress with some high heel boots. So you can go with something a little more trendy and modern, such as slouch boots or over the knee boots, or you can stick with classic boots. Ankle boots look great, shoe booties look great. Any of these options really work well for the office, but also give you sort of that cool girl edge without having to spend a lot. The third way I'd say to pair that is to add some cool print flats or loafers and then just style a cardigan, an easy layering piece over top of. You can leave that open if it's long and draped or you can belt that or tie that at the waist. And that really gives you that versatility for the dress with all with one dress and just simple layering pieces and changing out your shoes. The next thing I would recommend is to think about shopping resale shops and consignment to really get some amazing pieces without having to spend a lot. So for example, you can get some really cool blouses, bold vivid colors, some great amazing prints that you can find either on sale or you can pick up at any of these resale sites or your local consignment stores. If there's a designer that you really like but truly can't afford, think and shop in these stores that really can have some of these pieces that you can then incorporate into your wardrobe and nobody knows that you didn't buy it at full price. The thing, key thing is when shopping consignment for work or your personal wardrobe that you have to check back often or make friends with the store owner because they'll let you know when these amazing pieces, oh, she's looking for a green blouse or a leopard blouse or whatever it may be that you want, they'll let you know and call you once those come in. The last tip, which I think is a great one, is your shoes. 
You always want to achieve sort of that head to toe style without having to look like you've spent a lot. Be eye capturing and pulled together from your head to your toe, which means that your outfit is truly accessorized and that has great shoes with it. So the key with buying shoes is to look at what is a style a pair of shoes that you like that doesn't need to be in your budget. There are many shoe designers that are at a more reasonable price point that design in a similar format or style as a high-end or a luxury designer might do. So for example, if you see there's some YSL heels that you might really love, or you see your favorite pair of Givenchy or whatever, some designer, whatever it may be that you really like. There are designers such as Via Spiga, Sam Edelman, Michael Kors, Jeffrey Campbell. They all make similar styles, not exact, but similar to those that are a little more fashion forward and a little more luxurious. So you can buy these brands, which are similar cut for that, but at a much more reasonable price and still get that cool girl aesthetic of that designer piece that you really like. Great place to also shop for discounted shoes is to look online. Never pay full price, but also think about when holiday weekends are coming. If they have annual shopping parties or biannual sales, whatever that may be, you can also search online for those key pieces that you're really liking and then see, have it alert you when it goes on sale. Shop Style will do this, Mod Sense will do this. There's lots of different apps and programs you can use that will alert you when you can get a deal on items and really help you save for something that you're wanting to add into your work wardrobe. The other thing is think about basic pieces and where you don't really need to spend a lot. So great layering pieces such as camisoles or short sleeve blouses, something that might be underneath and that you layer with other outfits may not be something that you need to spend a lot on, but that you can really save and still achieve that overall style aesthetic without necessarily having to go out and spend a fortune on it. Also think about carrying a work bag or your handbag may not be something that people are seeing when you're out working as much. So it could be an area that you can save. If you're not carrying a bag into a meeting or if you're not in sales and you have that with you, you may not need to really spend anything on there or find a lower end bag that works well for the purpose that you need and then you can upgrade as you have more time and money to shop. We hope these tips will help you dress like a boss babe on a budget. Make sure you subscribe to our Divine Style YouTube channel and check out all our videos that cover all the different ways for women to have professional pizzazz. Look great and be stylish in the office place. Make sure that you access our style freebies down below in the box and we'll see you on the next segment.